guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite summer trends. I'm not gonna be showing you all my trends in one video, but I'm just gonna show you some of them and I probably will do another video of some of my other favorites. Summer is pretty much here now. I think the sun has decided that it's gonna stay in the UK. So yeah, we're very excited that it's finally sunny and we can you know, obviously, we can finally rock our summer outfit. So I thought I'd show you some of my favorites. Now this video is in collaboration with Misguided, so I will be showing you some of my summer pieces from their new in section. So the first trend, technical term, is flossing. This is basically the wrap shirts, tie tops, you know, that sort of thing. Anything with kind of like a tie or a wrap detail around the waist. Or sometimes you can get it on the skirts as well. If you're familiar with the Jacquemus brand, you know that they are famous for doing anything kind of cut out, doing a lot of their tops and shirts with the wrap tie front style. So I picked up this wrap, zebra print wrap crop shirt from Misguided, and I really, really like the print. It's definitely very summer um, appropriate, and I will probably pair this with like white trousers white wide leg trousers which happens to be another one of my favorite trends for summer the wide leg trousers i picked up one from zara they do a lot of wide leg trousers right now and i do have another one to show you so this would definitely be perfect to go with this shirt or if you want to show some skin you can wear with like a mini skirt as well definitely giving me like summer vacation vibes and you can wear this however you like i did pick up this skirt from misguided as well which you can the model was actually wearing it with the shirt so this two can go together as well i feel like it's a nice like pop of color and contrast color this trend comes in different shapes and forms you can pair them with a skirt, you can pair them with trousers or shorts. I also have this one from PLT, this is in a rust colour, it has like the tie wrap detail on the front, it's long sleeve and I also have this midi, kind of like denim, it's like a denim material midi skirt and it has these straps, pretty long, you can tie it around the waist as well so I feel like you can definitely pair them with um, one of these shirts. I also have, I feel like they could probably go together but they're separate. They come, this is from PLT. The skirt is from ASOS. So this is another wrap tie detail. Looks like that. And again, the denim material. This also comes with matching wide leg trousers. So you can wear that together or you can wear it with the skirt. I will pair them both together to show you what they look like. But I really like this trend. Me and food became really close friends during lockdown so my abs are not really doing what they're supposed to be doing but you know i'm just gonna suck it in sticking with the wide leg trend i also have this linen wide leg trouser from zara it is in the it's this really light yellow color also very very wide leg and they do do a few colors as well i really like this color this you can pair it with a white shirt or even a matching top another tie front or tie wrap shirt this is from and other stories and again you can either pair them together or pair them with separately maybe white trousers next trend is the poplin shirt so these can be either plain or the strap shirts and they come in you can get them in different colors i love you know wearing long oversized shirts because you can style them however you want you can style them on their own or with shorts or you know over like a long dress or something so i have this light blue striped oversized shirt from misguided and i got it in a size it's in the tall got it in a size 12 so it's oversized and then it has like um these separate shorts they're not they don't come together but i bought them i did get them together to wear together and i'd probably wear this with like um a bralette or something like a white bralette so again very nice very flowy something you can wear dressed up or dressed down you can even wear this on the beach and have like your um, bikini underneath or you can wear it out and about with a nice uh, bralette or a vest with shorts you also have this amazing pop of green absolutely love this shade of green again my camera is making it look a lot brighter than it is i don't know why it does that and I got it in a size 14 and this one again same thing you can pair it with like a white short or jeans or maybe a long maybe like long skinny jeans depending on how you want to wear it 
Um, I really wanted to get it in the biggest size to wear it as a shirt dress, but they only had a 14 at the time, so I picked up a 14. But it's supposed to be oversized anyway, so if you're lucky enough to get this, then I would definitely grab it. I did show you one from Zara like in my previous haul, but it wasn't. It's more like a shirt shirt. The biggest size is smaller than this, if that makes sense. This is supposed to be oversized already, so um, I really like this one. If you watched my last haul video, you know that I absolutely love green. Green is another trend right now, colour of the season, so so many different shades of green out there right now and I do have another thing to show you. It ties in with my other trend, but it is also green. got myself another Bottega cassette bag, but I didn't get the chain. If you follow me on my Instagram stories, you know that I've been obsessing over the chain bag. I do have the chain bag in the brown colour but obviously it's quite dull for summer and I really wanted the green one but I didn't want to spend the retail price because it's gone up by 300 or 350 pounds. I got my brown one for 1800 which is a bargain so I have been um and R in but um, I was able to get this on Better Collective and I saw the price and I was like you know what I'm gonna get it. So I picked it up in the cassette so this is the this is just a plain um, strap which also works as well I mean it is less dramatic but it also can be worn and you can kind of subdue and make your outfit a lot more classy not that the other one didn't do that but like sometimes you don't want the chain detail and the chain can be quite heavy as well so this is obviously tying in with the coloured badge trend and the green trend as well again it's very bright on camera but I will show you a little cutaway somewhere. You can get this in different shades of green. I would have loved the medium tone green. Right now this is what is out at the moment, this shade of green and obviously it is a bright green but you can still rock it during autumn time with like maybe all black. Doesn't give me the same drama as the one with the chain but I did wear it out the other day and I still, I really, really like it. I did get um, quite a few compliments on it too so it is quite on the pricey side obviously but you don't have to go for designer when it comes to coloured bags. Now the Bottega brand is very popular if you're into you know designer or luxe items. You may not want this colour but there are a few a lot of colours to go for. I actually want to get a white one because a white one can definitely go with everything. Okay. On the subject of the coloured bag trend I also picked up um, another Bottega I've spent all my money on Bottega this summer, um, it's crazy, no more designer. I say that now but that will probably change again. I picked up the woven pouch um, again from Bottega and this is in there, it's like in between yellow and green, it's like, kind, of, kind of like their kiwi green, I think it's like, I think it's called kiwi green, so it's like in between yellow and green if that makes sense and I absolutely love this bag. Like I haven't worn it out yet, but I absolutely love it. It is so soft. It's in the bigger size. I haven't worn it out yet, but I just know that I'm absolutely going to love it. So again, something with a pop of colour um, on your outfit can definitely add a nice summer touch. And um, it doesn't have to be designer, obviously. It doesn't have to be luxury, but something that gives a nice pop of colour. And next trend is the puff sleeves trend. Um, usually this also falls under the smock dress because a lot of smock, like smock dresses are really in right now as well. This is a trend that's kind of always been around and I feel like it will never go away and I'm definitely here for it. So this dress is from Misguided and it's a midi dress, uh, a subtle puff sleeve as well and love it. I really love it. I think a nice pop of colour. I think with the clutch or even the green Bottega, I feel like it will add a nice colour because it is black, although black isn't really a summer colour. I feel like the pop of colour with your accessories will definitely add that summer vibe. Also picked up this white one, this is in the short sleeve version and it's got buttons going down the middle. Definitely gives you that nice girly feel. So um, there's so many, you can get them in so many colours, I just stick, stuck to my monochrome because I do want to add like a pop of black colour when it comes to my bags, but there's so many to choose from on, I think there's quite a few on the website as well. Another smock dress, this is from Misguided, and if you didn't want to go for the sleeves, you can get a sleeveless version, a midi smock dress, and it's got the buttons going down the, going down the front, so so pretty. This is also very cute as well perfect for summer if you're not really into your bright colours you can go for this and it's so so it's so cute it's so pretty very girly on 
I mean, we all know that floral is a pretty much a standard summer trend, but um, I wanted to show you this puff sleeve mini dress from Misguided. I thought it was quite cute. I also have this absolutely beautiful dress from ASOS Editions. You can't really see it on camera because it's kind of getting washed out, but it's a long sleeve smock dress and it's kind of like it's got these cut out detail. You can see that. And it also has the puff sleeve as well. I cannot tell you how gorgeous this dress is on. Um, the waist is also kind of see through, so it has like a bit of lace um, around the waist area. The only thing is, I really cannot, I'm struggling to put the, the buttons on the sleeves going because it is quite tight. From the reviews, it says go down a size, so I went down to a six and it's, it fits perfectly, but the wrist is so tight. You kind of need help to get it, like to fasten the buttons and it looks really nice with the buttons fastened so that's going to be a little bit of an issue putting this dress on but I absolutely love this dress it also comes in black as well if you wanted to go for a black version it's kind of like an off-white colour, it's not pure white but it, it is so gorgeous and honestly definitely can't wait to start this I want to do like an all-white um, outfits lookbook type thing but we'll see okay so the next trend i don't know if it's an actual trend or it's just something really popular but it is very popular and i've gone for the crop blazers they usually come as a set so the cords the cords are very very like popular and very trendy right now for summer so they usually tend to be like a crop blazer with a matching um, mini skirt but um i love the crop blazer and the jean vibe at the moment so i picked this up from the skydid and it's kind of in a linen material and it fastens in the front. I got a 10 because it does look quite small on, um, on the model. I went for a 10. And I also picked it up in this kind of sage, is this a sage? Sage color, more of a tailored blazer. And this is in the size eight, looks like that. So you can wear this however you'd like. I have seen people wear it with um, wider trousers with like a bralette underneath or with mum jeans. So I do have a mom jean to start with this too. Got this pair from Misguided as well, um, in an eight long, and it's kind of like, kind of like a boyfriend mom jean style. I will plan to wear this with the crop blazer, and also sticking with the blazer trend. Oversized blazers are also a big trend right now. I've got this in a small. So this I can pair with anything. I can obviously wear it monochrome and. I have a pop of colour with me in my coloured bag or keep it all plain. I plan to just wear this with jeans or maybe with shorts. Just to show you a nice bright one, this one is from Boohoo Man and it's a really gorgeous yellow. It can be styled in different ways. I do have a blazer reel video but I feel like maybe I might do another one just how to style, just different ways of styling blazers but this is such a great pop of colour, so nice and bright and summery. And then finally, the last trend I have are the chunky sandals or chunky slippers. Um, these I got from ASOS, they're from the brand Stradivarius and this is definitely something I feel like is pretty cute. So even though they're slippers, you can they do look a little bit more dressy because they have the platform and also the this bit is <laughs> kind of like a leather material. I think this looks quite stylish. Also got it in this white and black colour as well. I think this is really really cute. They're very very comfortable to walk on. So that is pretty much it for the video. I hope this was helpful. I will link everything plus some extra alternatives as well if you're looking for some more pieces. I will link all the misguided pieces for you as well with my sizes because sometimes I do fluctuate within sizes depending on how I want the fit to be so I will link everything in the description box. If you have any suggestions for you know summer related videos let me know and I'll try and get those out for you. I do have a few already but let me know what you would like to see more of. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.